doing. The thing gonna be about Mickey Rourke dissing Tom Cruise. Says he's been irrelevant and been playing the same part for 35 years. You know, with Tom Cruise, when you think of him, of course, Scientology and some people still harbor about him jumping off the couches on Oprah and some people will talk. But, you know, one thing in his movies, he does his stunts. That's remarkable. But I'm going to say this about Tom Cruise. No, he wasn't no great actor and he will never be mentioned amongst the greats, but he been the Hollywood money boy forever. The guy is still box office. And it wasn't, you know, he, he, he charisma personality. The guy had the cross had to hit. You know, because if it was just based on the high, who's been the hottest flavors, who's been the white boys that come along that were f- for the flavors, you know, you can say uh, uh, Bradley Cooper, you can say uh, you can say Brad Pitt, you know, pushing even pushing George Clooney. You can, you know, I can mention quite a few of them that have come along, but they ain't had his run. Tom Cruise's run is unlike. Any, you know, that I'm thinking of, you know, you know, because his actually his run. If you think about what he does in his lane, that's even more impressive than Tom Hanks. Now, if you're getting in terms of a cat that is a great actor and been able to sustain a long run, you're talking about the Denzel Washington of the world. And Tom Cruise ain't in that lane and ain't on his level. But Tom Cruise keeps steady. Now, as far as Mickey Roy. He comes across bearder, and I'm going to tell you something, Mickey Rourke should have been mentioned in the Denzel, Pacino, De Niro, uh, Hoffman, um, Morgan Freeman, should have been mentioned in that tier level of actors. But he just kind of wasted, you know, because he had a chance when he was younger. I mean, the Pope of Greenwich Village is still a top tier movie, but he didn't really, you know, he took some made a can rolls and he kind of he wore this thing down and a lot of people forgot how good of an actor he was he was at once upon a time and so him dissing Tom Cruise is on some hate but there's some truth about Cruise playing the same role but who doesn't after a while because that's what you build your niche up that's how it go it's called acting and you're not going to stray you're not going to start to see Tom Cruise playing a veterinarian or doing voiceover work to sustain something because he's still an action figure. He didn't figure it out to keep that grind and do it. And it's been very rewarding for him. So, hey, why knock the hustle? But it's always comical when I hear actors dissing others, and especially when they had a chance to be one of the greats and they messed that up on their own. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shitter if you want to, and I'm out.